Hello, Leo. I'm going to do a manifesting video for you today. What are you manifesting? What's coming towards you? What do you need to know? What is your advice from spirit? Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment to be entered to win a personal free reading. You are going to want to comment in the comments below, hashtag manifesting, whatever you're manifesting, manifesting a marriage, manifesting a relationship, manifesting a new home, manifesting a new job, whatever it is you're manifesting, all one word, hashtag manifesting, whatever. Okay. Also, I'm still doing $10 off personal readings. Email me to get booked for that. We're having tons of fun with those. They're a great time, you guys. Um, so get in on that. You just shoot me an email and that is in the description box below. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, I'm still giving away the one a week. So don't forget to hashtag comment in the comments below, okay? Um, this is a general read. It will not resonate for everybody. Take what resonates for you, okay? And leave the rest. Check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, also, guys, when you're watching these, sometimes you'll get just kind of a general message. There's going to be things, if you're watching this, there's a reason, okay? All right, I've got three decks. I'm going to pull um, an Oracle card. I'm going to pull one card from each deck. This is a lot of cards to deal, so I just spread them out. I fan them out. Um, I shuffle them, fan them out, and I'll pick from the piles like this. It's just easier that way. All right, the first one says, know your worth. Look at you, Leo, know your worth. All right. The second one says memories. And the third one, already I feel like there is there is some Leos out here who um, are really, really thinking about a past person. And I know that that's not always what you want to hear, but that is what I'm getting. And Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. Okay. The path that you are on is the path you are supposed to be on. Okay. What is meant for you cannot be taken away. Sometimes first time around, it wasn't the right timing, right? But they're all, there's just, there's reasons. There's reasons why, why everything happens. All right. So I'm going to put these up here. Don't sell yourself short either. If you're in a business where you're selling um, a product or selling a service, right? Selling something that you do, um, know your worth, okay? Don't short sale yourself, Okay. All right, so this first row of cards is going to be what you're manifesting, what's coming in, okay? If you're not manifesting anything, maybe this is already what you're pulling into and you don't even know it, because that can happen too, all right? And then the second row is going to be um, advice from spirits, okay? So I'm going to pull from one deck and clarify with the other, just like I do in other readings. All right, Leo, let's do this. What does Leo need to know? Manifesting for Leo, please. Leo, 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 please. All right. Bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles. Are you manifesting the King of Pentacles? Could be. Could be just manifesting stability. All right. Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. The Tower. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. There are some Leos here who are in a bad way financially, okay? Going without having lack of resources, really, really, really having to spend about how they think money. Think about spending money, okay? Um, pulling those purse strings real tight, okay? You have had or will have a, or are in the middle of having a tower moment. Tower moments are huge, guys. The universe comes in to bring us what we're supposed to have. But when they do that, they wipe everything out of the way to make space, Okay. So don't be surprised if you have lost a job or um, lost a bid, um, lost a project, whatever this is, not got, you know, not getting money in right now. There's a reason. Okay. The universe is moving things out of your way and they're giving you the chance to go after what it is you want. Okay. So here's your advice from spirit. We've got the five of wands, the magician, the nine of pentacles and the six of swords. My dog is dragging a bone across the floor upstairs. It's my life. Okay. Five of pentacles and four of pentacles. Somebody is without, without their person, without money, whatever. Okay. If it's about a person, you are holding them very, very near and dear to your heart, hanging on to that memory, hanging on to that person. If it's about money, you are just pulling those purse strings real tight. Okay, so let's clarify the five of pentacles. What is this five of pentacles for my Leos? There's that king of pentacles and the world. Okay, 
Your person is not with you right now because they're closing out a cycle. You are pulling them in. You feel lonely. Do not despair, okay? If this is about stability, the universe is bringing that stability to you. You are cycling up. There is new energy getting ready to just break wide open. That's what this tower is going to be about, okay? Might be hard to see at first because I'm telling you that tower breaks everything down, okay? Four pentacles. What is this four pentacles? Four Leo. Holding on to your person, holding on to your money. Got the king of cups and the two of cups. You may very well be manifesting a water sign. If you are, they're your person and you are holding them very, very near and dear to your heart. You may also be manifesting um, emotional stability, have potential partnership with someone else. But there's a lot of you out there that um, want stability from this person, this king of cups, and that's who you're calling into you. Okay. It's not for everybody. The tower. What is this tower for Leo? What do we need to know about this tower for my Leo folks? I heard you upstairs dragging your bone across the floor, you crazy dog. You don't want to come here and say hi? Okay. You don't have to. You can if you want. You can. You can. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Okay. All right, this tower moment. What is this tower moment for my Leos? The moon and the four of pentacles. Yeah, you may not even be able to see. You're still holding on to this and you don't even see any way possible. Like, it's just like you don't even see any way forward. You may be more in the dark about your about your situation or your relationship than you ever have been. It looks bleak, right? But this tower moment comes through to create space. Okay. To create space. Let me get one more. What's this tower moment? If you're manifesting a person, they are your person and they will be coming in due time. If it's a twin flame situation, they're coming when they're supposed to come and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Keep manifesting for your highest good. If you are manifesting stability and a victory and a foundation to build on, right? That's this card is about a lot of things. Um, that's coming too. Okay. It's coming. We've got three fours. That's about stability, a foundation, right? So this knight of swords, once once it shows up, go after it. Get after it. Do the work. You hold up your end of the bargain and the universe will hold up theirs, right? Like you do the work that you're supposed to do. And they will do the work that they're supposed to do. Here's that money. Here it is coming in. Money looking good for you. Money looking good. Right? Don't, they're saying don't give up. Don't give up. Right? Just keep fighting. Even when you feel like you don't have any fight left, keep fighting because you've got some beautiful things coming in. Some of you could be manifesting money and a relationship, and both of those things look good. But regardless, either way, right? But they are saying, hold yourself in high value, right? With this new moon and Taurus energy, this know your worth and this nine of pentacles, literally hold yourself in high value, right? Don't short sell yourself. All right. So here we have the five of wands and the magician in the advice from spirit, right? So this five of wands, um, it could be about brainstorming, coming up with new ideas, doing the work, backing up the, the, the talk with the actions, right? Really getting in there. And um, especially if you're going, you know, starting a business or starting a project, right? Let that creativity just run through you, right? This is that five of wands, fire energy, okay? It is also a reminder not to get trapped in drama, okay? Not to go around and around and around in your head about things. That's not productive, okay? Just keep pushing and keep moving forward for what you want, Okay, so let's clarify this five of wands for Leo. What is this five of wands for Leo? The three of cups could be a reconciliation, but that's also happiness, right? That's celebrating a win. That's 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 community and your friends and getting together and celebrating. And the chariot, look at that. It's coming your way. Whether it's a reconciliation, happiness, whatever it is, it's coming your way, right? But they are saying, do the work to back this up. And with this man with this magician, right? Keep manifesting. The universe hears you. This is your validation that what you're doing will be successful 
if you keep at it. Okay, what is this magician for Leo? What is this magician for my Leo? The Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Don't block your blessings, guys. Keep an open mind. Know your worth, okay? Understand that there are going to be detours with this coyote spirit, but it's going to take you where you're supposed to go. Keep an open mind. Stay focused. Keep an open mind and don't block your own blessings. Your manifestations are coming true. Also, um, you know, make sure that you include your higher power in there, giving thanks every day to what you for what you have, for what you already have, okay? And here we have the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Again, holding yourself in high regard, knowing your worth, knowing your value, okay? And that Six of Swords, it's it's like, just keep trucking. Even when, even when the night is long and the road is rough and the storm is raging, right? Keep going. What is this Nine of Pentacles for my Leos? The Knight of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah. Keep, keep going after what you want and learning, right? Learning about what it takes to get where you want. Learning about that new job, learning about that new business, be hungry for it and be willing to expand your mind, right? And go after it. And with this six of swords, right? Even if you only make it, even if one day you don't make leaps and bounds worth of progress, you just make it to the next day, that's still progress. Okay, still progress. They're saying it's gonna be rough. It's not always gonna be easy, but you're gonna get through it. You're gonna come out the other side of that tower moment, right? Don't look back. Just keep a winning attitude and keep going forward. That tower moment is meant for you to leave things in the past where they're supposed to be and to move forward. Take your winnings and move forward and, and always be fighting for what you want. I love this for you. I think it's really beautiful. Some of you certainly are manifesting stability and money and it's coming. Others of you are manifesting a relationship. And it's coming. Your two of cups with your person is coming, okay? But you've got to give credit where credit is due, okay? Act, walk, talk, think, speak, eat, breathe, and live like you already have what you want, okay? And understand that we have the ace of cups. Um, yeah, for some of you, this is about healing a love relationship, right? For Leo, getting a wish. Wow. For others of you, you know, it could be a totally new person. But don't get caught up in your own, you know, don't get caught up in anybody else's drama. Don't get caught up in your own head. Don't block your blessings. Just keep working for working towards what you want, knowing that this tower moment is going to get you to your stability. Okay. To your money. It's, it's also going to get you to your person. Okay. Your person isn't with you right now because they're closing out a cycle. Okay. But they're coming in as a king of pentacles, or this is your stability either way or both. I'm just saying. And we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of this deck too. Forgot all about that. The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. It's coming. Stay balanced. Believe that the universe is working behind the scenes to make this happen. Keep going after what you want, right? This, this lack, this without, this hurt, this pain isn't forever. You can rebuild. You do not have to be sorry forever. Look at you manifesting like an MF. Look at you. I love it. All right, guys. That's what I have for you. I'm sending you tons of love and light. And in the meantime, I want you to just be nice to each other. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. Hashtag manifesting whatever you're manifesting. I have $10 off personal readings right now. If you'd like to book, um, just shoot me an email and I will see you next time.